So, so cyanide. Uh, let's draw the structure. Now, in, in this case, first thing you notice, is there going to be like an obvious central atom? C. Well, not really. Can you have a? Can you have the mid? Like you got two points. Oh, because you don't know which one, one to go. Yeah, yeah it, it doesn't really matter. That's the point. It's not. It's not a big deal. Oh. But if you do valence first, carbon's got four, nitrogen has five. You got a negative one, so you go plus one. That gives you ten electrons. Now there is no specific central atom. That's fine. You just go C and N connected. That's all you gotta do. Over. No, I wish. So we had 10, we just put in 2, we got 8 left over. Are you following me so far? I'm going, yes. quick, I'm going quicker now, I know. Uh, next step, <coughs> the next step is that we now have to put in the rest of our electrons. So we've got 8 left over. Now you can put these anywhere. This, this part does not matter because you're going to get the same answer no matter what. So I just start, I just randomly say, okay, let's go 2, 4, 6, Eight. Again, it does not matter where you put those. You're getting the same answer. Those are shared, right? They're going to end up being shared, yeah. So it really doesn't matter. Now, if you look here, what's the uh, which 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 ad which atom is happy? C carbon. Carbon's happy, right? Yeah, simple enough because it's got eight. Nitrogen's sitting there all angry. It does not have eight. It has four. It feels as though it is, you know, being cheated here. So. Carbon's going to fix that because again, carbon is like a it's a good good person or something, I guess. So what's going to occur is this: carbon's going to say, you know what, I'm going to donate those to you. So then you end up with so still nitrogen now has six, carbon still has eight though. Do you see why? Because yeah. this double bond, you know, you still got eight total. So what's going to occur? You're going to end up with carbon donating another one. Now, I'm going to write the electron pair over there, that one. Don't let that confuse you. That's just, in the end, all electrons want to be as far apart as possible from each other. That's why I did that. Don't worry about that. But we'll talk about that when we talk about the Vesper theory next, tomorrow. So, this is your structure. And think about it nitrogen has eight, carbon has eight. Everything is happy. All because of this nice fancy triple bond. Okay? Yeah. How do you know it's going to be a triple bond? When you make a double bond, honestly when you make a double bond it's not bond. <coughs> like it's, it's not just it's just, when it's when you when you do this and you make a double bond it doesn't have eight. and it's not filled up yet. So then it's it's balanced on each side? Uh no. It just works out that way here. Okay. These are not always going to be symmetrical. That's okay if they're not always symmetrical. Well, it's totally fine. Yeah. <coughs> like, yeah, the the, the, more the more bonds, the harder it is to break the bonds. Definitely. Any other questions? Yeah, but that's due to totally set. Yes. But in just in terms of comparing one to two to three bonds, yeah, three stronger than one, always. It also means they can't move as well, though, which doesn't mean anything. So, 